Welcome to Pabli. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a feature of Pabli Connect, which is called Scheduler. So with Scheduler, you can schedule the running or execution of your automation workflow at any specific date and time in future. Like if you want to run your workflow on a regular basis at any specific time, you can use Scheduler. Or if you want to run your workflow at once on a specific future date and time, you can use Scheduler. Or if you want to run your workflow at uh, regular intervals of time repeatedly, you can use scheduler in this case also. And guys, uh, you can use this to schedule the posting of your content on social media. Or if you want to transfer the data from one app to another app at any specific future date and time, you can use scheduler. Or if you want to schedule meetings with your client, if you want to create meetings in any meeting application, you can use this in that case also. So uh, at the end of the video, I'll attach some cards in which you can see how actually you can use scheduler in the automation setup. So stick around and now let me show you how you can use scheduler inside Pavli Connect. So guys, here I am inside a workflow in Pavli Connect. So if you want to know how to create a workflow, you can see any other video of our channel. And here you can see the name of our workflow is what is scheduler in Pavli Connect. So I'm just going to show you the demo of scheduler. And here you will see the trigger and action. Okay, so automation work on these two things only. So the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action is the response towards the trigger. Okay. So here in the trigger only, we are going to select scheduler because that is going to start the workflow in future. Okay. So guys, you will find the scheduler feature here. You can see this is scheduler. You can select it from here. Okay. And after selecting it, it will ask how often you want to run your workflow. So it will give you three options here. Uh, you can run this workflow at once in future at regular intervals repeatedly in future or you can run this workflow every day in future. Okay. So let me start with this option only at regular intervals. So when you select at regular intervals, it will give you these two options, every option and the time span option. So here you can put the number of uh, days, minutes or hours. And from here you can select the units. Okay. Uh, for example, let's say that you want to run your workflow uh, in future at every at after every 10 days. Okay, so put here 10 and in the time span select days. So your workflow is scheduled to run at every 10 days. Okay, and you can enter the time as well. Uh, let's say you want to run this workflow at every 10 days on 9 a.m. daily uh, or on 9 a.m. at every 10 days. Okay, so you have to put here 9 a.m. in UTC format, which is universally coordinated time format which lags behind Indian standard time format by five hours and 30 minutes. So as I'm working in India, I have to put here, uh, let's say I want to put here 9 a.m. So I have to put here 3.30, subtracting it by five hours and 30 minutes to, to say it in uh, UTC, okay? So you can uh, use any other UTC converter, IST or UTC converter online to put the time here, okay? So this is one option. And the other option we have is once. So if you want to schedule the running of this workflow at once at any future date or time, use this option once, and then it will ask for the date and time that on which you want to execute this workflow at once. So here you can select the time from this calendar, sorry, date from this calendar like this, and you can select the time as well. But remember to put the time in UTC format and I have already shown you how to uh, put the time in UTC. Okay, after that, just click on save and your workflow will be scheduled to run at once at this date and time. Okay. And the other option we have is every day. Okay, so if you want to run your workflow every day daily on in future, you can use this and then it will just ask for the time on which you want to run this workflow in future. Okay, so just put the time in UTC format here and then click on save again and your workflow will be scheduled to run on every day at this time. Okay. So this is how you can use scheduler feature. After that, in the action step, you can do uh, many things. You can uh, set up the whole automation from this action step. Okay. 
So this feature is for only scheduling the running or execution of your workflow according to these given options here. Okay, so this is how you can use scheduler feature of Pavli Connect.